Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and if you're new to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to hit that uh, notification button so that you never miss a new video when I drop it. Today's workout is going to be an uh, arms workout. We are working on that underfoot, you know, this tip fillet, chicken fillet I call it. Yes, we are going to fix that and it's going to be a simple routine. We're going to use an elastic band and we're going to use some dumbbells, very light ones, and we're going to use some one kilogram balls okay that's what we're gonna use for today's workout so let's get started so we're gonna begin by some small arm pouches by the help of this elastic band so we just gonna start like this you just all you're gonna do is just go like this making small arm pouches as you go up and come back down you see that will help you stretch these uh, muscles under here so let's get started Wait a minute. So, and go. We're gonna start up here, up here, and we're gonna go down, so making small pulses, and go back up. Just small pulses, not very, very, very big ones. You got it? Sure. Let's get started again. Gonna begin up here, you can begin down going up, you can begin up going down. It doesn't matter where you begin. So let's begin today this time. Down. Up, 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 up. Down. As you can see, I think you can see that my arms are being engaged. You can see that they are being worked. And you can see that the muscles are being tightened. That's the purpose of this workout. Just small pulses. And as, as far as you go, you feel the tightness in your muscles, you feel the pain. If you haven't done this for some time, you definitely feel some stretch and some pain in there, but that's no problem. You can change this up and you, you go into a squat, like that, and then you go up, and then you come back down, 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 down. The squat gives you some extra work you're also working the other part of your body if you squat. You see that? Yeah. Now, when you're done with this one, you can put it on the side and rest it. And then we're gonna pick our dumbbells. With the dumbbells, you're just gonna do some kickbacks. Hold them the way you like. Mostly I like to hold them like this when they're fastened and secured by those uh, bags. And then I like to just Start in a comfortable position, back straight, and I like to just do my kickbacks like that. Without a hurry, just relaxing, quietly pushing back in front, pushing back in front, pushing back. I wish you was a push back. You can see if I come, I can come closer. If I do this, you can see clearly what is happening to my biceps and triceps. You see that? And once you're done with that, you're just gonna do some some butterflies. I let go of these butterflies. You're just gonna put your your, your weights on your hands like this. Luckily, mine are fastened, so they won't fall off. You see those belts? They fasten them on my hands, so I can nicely yeah do some arm pulses like that. Not too big, just do small ones. Otherwise, they'll they'll get you hurt. Just do very small pulses, like that. See what I'm doing? Like that, that will tighten your muscles. Your, tri your triceps and biceps will be tightened by doing this. See that? Oh, take a breath. 
break. Take a break, take a break, take a break. Take a break. Take a break. Once you rest it up nicely, you're gonna do the front ones. Just stretch. Now take front. Bring front, take back the knee. Bring front. Hands should be straight. That's a three. You do it ten, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Once you're done, take a break. Always take breaks whenever you finish something strenuous that gives you time and opportunity to recuperate or rest up and regain back your energy or your momentum momentum i mean okay but once you're done with that you're gonna step back a little bit into a squat and then you're gonna push and push and push and push 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 Meanwhile, keep a rigid back, very straight, very important. Rest, rest up, and then this time you're gonna do them concurrently, like you're doing crisscrosses. Go back and squat and increase the speed. One, two, three, four. Take a break. Once you're done with your weights, you can rest this down and pick something else. I'm gonna pick our one kilogram balls. Each one of these is one kilogram. My shorts are misbehaving, they're folding up. It's very important to always change up your weights, okay? And with these, you're just gonna, these are one kilogram. You're just gonna do criss and cross, criss, cross, criss, cross, like that. Up to a count of 10. Keep straight hands. And if you haven't been doing this for a while, the following day or two days later, you're gonna feel some good, good muscle aches. You're gonna feel some good muscle pains, but that's no problem. You shouldn't worry about it because that will go away after some time. But if you practice this daily, if you have the time, that is it. But if you're not having that time like me, you can practice this every now and then. And then the problem of muscle pains will go away. And the next workout is just, you can put your straight, without any weights, you can do this without any weights. If you feel like the weights are too much, you can just do this and just do like as if you're calling someone like that. You see that? Without any weights, you can do that, and that is also gonna help you. But make sure you just you squeeze, squeeze. You make sure you really squeeze hard when you're yeah, you're calling like that. See that? Seems simple, but it really helps. You don't want to do weight because also doing that your muscles here are tightening and you're getting what you want but not of course on one day you have to do this regularly and it will also help you with your yeah toning your hands as well you can also do this now those are the viral, uh, those are the variations of exercise you can do without the weights they can also help you with hitting your hands so that this meat here is not loose and flabby. Okay? You can also do kickbacks without weights. You can just say to do this. 
adding weight uh, helps you a lot because it uh, increases the capacity of your workout and increases the intensity of your workout and gives you faster results but if you don't have the weights you can still do these workouts without weights you see what I'm doing because the kickbacks without any weights like I'm saying weights will just help you increase the intensity of your workout and so by so doing you get results quickly okay also with uh, the crosses you can do those without weights as well and you will achieve results may talk a bit longer but also get the same destination as someone who has used weights okay like that also with pulses but yeah you can now make your hands rigid you cross up and down cross up and down cross up and down you get the same results okay guys I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you again in another video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And don't forget to like the video if you haven't liked and you are watching this video. I hope to see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.